is April the 29th, 2018. This is the entry gate to Poganip. It's a little hill, an alternate trail going up into the western part of the lower meadow. The Emma McCrary Trail going off here. And a little pedestrian trail, fortunately bypassing the Emma McCrary Trail to the right. This is Golf Club Drive going up into Poganet. And this is the western edge of the Holmes Garden Project. And glimpse the lower Poganet meadow through here. A foggy morning. And the entrance to the lower meadow on the middle path with the homeless garden sign here. This is the lower meadow and the ravine. This is the map. The entrance to the future homeless garden project. This is the cross path, the beginning across the lower meadow where the buildings will be here on the right side. And this part here will be vineyard all the way over to the trees over there. And this part here on the other side will be fields and gardens. The little path coming up the little hill that you saw at the entrance gate comes up here. And meets the cross path. And then it winds on past the ravine, the top of the ravine towards the hill that goes down to Highway 9. And this is the part that is always flooded in the winter time with water bubbling out of the gopher holes and um, ankle deep or more water rushing from up there from out of the upper Poganip across here sheeting all across this area, gathering here, flowing across the path and on into the ravine. And you can see that it is a moist, moister area because of the little juncus grasses popping up in this area. And the ranger truck has been through recently, routing out the homeless camps that sprout up on both sides of the ravine and in the woods on the other side. And it was still pretty moist even weeks after the last rain. And that next dip that you can see there is another watershed point where it bubbles out of the ground and sheets across the path. Go for spring in the bowling. And this is the view back towards Golf Club Drive. And now continuing on Golf Club Drive, this is where it goes down into the bottom where the redwoods are. And Poganip Creek runs all year round. Now going up to the northwest corner. This is the upper part, the northwest corner, where it meets the upper meadow and where Golf Club Drive takes this bend is the major watershed out of Poganip coming down into the lower meadow, flowing on into the ravine. This is where the water comes out of the upper meadow and flows across the road. 
This is the view from Gulfcombe Drive into the northwest part of the lower meadow. And this whole area is supposed to be farmed and probably surrounded with an eight foot fence because there's lots of deer coming through and coyote and bobcats. And in the night, owls hunt here. We've heard four different species of owls. Hawks in the daytime. And then the ravens are driving them out these days. The ravens moved in in big numbers. There's about 200 or so of them living near the clubhouse. And you can see one and hear one flying down there. So that might be an issue too with Cropstone here coming up to the clubhouse. And to the right here is the what locals call the honeymoon trail. So the trails are supposed to stay open, but because of the fencing the view would probably not be the same. So this whole area is going to be farmed. Along the path here and along the cross, little cross path that goes up on the other side of the ravine, native grasses have made a big comeback. And the California prairie is one of the six most endangered U.S. habitats. So this whole hillside is going to be vineyard. This stretch and further down from here is going to be farmed. Some of the ravens going to their roost at the clubhouse up there. And the ravens are culture followers, so they'll go wherever humans offer them food. And they're already dive bombing the hawks here in the lower meadow that appear every day to hunt. And the expanse of the upper part of the eastern lower meadow going down to the ocean, which you can see most days. And sometimes you can also see the hills across the bay and Monterey. the purple needle grass. Growing all alongside the path here. Coming down the hill towards the Inland McCrary Trail. We live down there behind those pine trees and every night we hear in the spring at least but also in the fall the great horned owls hooting females and males back and forth to each other and sometimes there's a pair sometimes there's three or four all and they hoot all the way up they sit in the ravine 
and farther up and I think they hunt in this meadow here. And during the daytime there's usually hawks that are get, getting driven out more and more by the ravens that have started to roost up there. So the ravine and the meadows to both sides are wonderful hunting grounds for raptors and owls. We also heard three other species of owls, screech owls, barn owls, and even the occasional pygmy owl, only a couple of times. And this is where the Emma McCrary Trail crosses the eastern part of the Pogonet Meadow and goes right through the ravine. See how rocky the soil is pretty much everywhere here where it gets cut into. And I'm not sure how different it is up there on the terrace. This is the Emma McCrary Trail going into the ravine and the bridge they built across the ravine. And that's what disturbed the pair of kites that had been nesting here for years and years. So a lot of well-trodden paths that didn't used to be here developed from the Mama Crary Trail. And the outflow of the ravine from Poganip. Very high water sometimes in the winter time. And this is the soil here on this whole hillside. And you can see that with this narrow of a trail in pretty much every, all the places that I just stepped aside for two cyclists, that although horses and hikers have the right of way, you do step aside when those fast bikers come Zooming along, and there's 225 average per day. So other than the occasional jogger, this really is a bike trail and not a multi-use trail. This is a little meadow on the other side of the entrance to the Poganip on Golf Club Drive. And it was replanted, I think, by UCSC students a while ago. and. Some of the native species had survived. And this sign shows the lower meadow going up to the clubhouse, which you can recognize by, by the palm tree horizon line. And we do find the poppies and the lupines in the meadow in the springtime.